I went through a breakup after six years. I sat in a profound aloneness for months. Slowly, the sun began to come out. I began to join society again. I accepted an invite to a big party, content with my hour out in the world. An old artist friend of mine, Nick Stewart, was just smiling at me as I exited. He pointed at another guy that seemed to be smiling, his friend, Luca Sabat. It was as if he knew something good was happening in this moment. My thoughts of going home flew out the window, and as time passed, I realized I had made an amazing new friend. My show is like a biography in seven minutes. I ask the questions that connect with my guests on a human level and create their portrait at the same time. I'm Patrick Hollick, and this is an interview. Slow down, man. It's just like, it's like a do, uh, do like a Hollywood walk. Just Hollywood walking, you know. So in the first season of this show, it was all about curiosity, and I don't think I need to change it. So no. like, my first thing I would ask you is, what are you curious about? I think I'm curious about just filmmaking and film in general, mm -hmm. just like in all formats, from music videos to movies to shorts to Everything. animation. I just like film. It's my favorite type of storytelling, mm -hmm. you know. Keep an eye on mics and paper and stuff if you see anything bad. Let's try to get you in that more. Beautiful. You were young when you were in New York. Yeah, I was born in New York. I left when I was two mm -hmm. and came back for acting school, which is why I moved to America. I just like, you know, on some American dream shit. Growing up in Paris, but listening to mad American music like Red Hot Chili Pepper, et cetera, et cetera, I had like a soundtrack to like how sick America was. Yeah. And you know, going from living with your mom in Paris to living with your dad in New York is like a huge. Is that down or up? Up or down, good or bad? You know, that's an interesting question. Stop sexualizing our bodies. <laughs> is that what it says? Yes, it does. What was the most important lesson you ever learned? Fuck. I feel like now, now that you ask, I don't think I've learned anything in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are the company you keep is what my dad always told me. You are the company you keep? You're the company you keep. So I try not to hang out with jackasses. Tell me like what it's like being a kid and growing up in Paris. You know, there's being a kid and there's being a black kid in Paris too, yeah. which is weird. You know, it's classist, it's racist, whatever. Yeah. But like I was a kid, so I didn't really even notice that shit till like way later. But it's a beautiful fucking city. Yeah. It's like, you just learn about like art history and like sick music. Like I grew up on the sick of shit as a kid mm -hmm. in Paris. So my friend said a line the other day that was money. She said, who do you want to be right now? And I was like, well, this year I'm going to do, no, 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 Who do you want to be right now? Lucas Sabat, dude. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk would be pretty sick too, though. It'd be a good weekend. I'd be in on us for a weekend. We want to get loaded, and we want to have a good time. That's what we're going to do. You don't uh, strike me as a school schedule person. Absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely. What's crazy is that it's not that I was like sh bad at school, it's just I just didn't care to do the work because it's just nothing I was interested in. I never skipped or anything. Though. I somehow, like, even when I was partying and clubbing, I still somehow would like go from the after party to school. You made it. I made it, book bag with like tequila in it. There's this old saying that says you can never go home again. Do you think of home as where you came from or something you're continually building? It's continually building, you know, it's classic, you know, home is where the heart is, but you know, my, my heart varries, you know. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's here. Where right now it? it's right, it's here, afternoon? it's right. This afternoon, it's right here. Yeah. Who was the most important person in your childhood? In my childhood, it's probably my mother. She just like worked mad jobs. She used to be a booker for New Faces at Elite okay. in Paris. And I think the agency was paying for our apartment in this like super nice building. But like, it was also model housing. Oh. So when I was like nine through like 11, like basically all these like, young models, like 16 years old, 17 years old, coming from Switzerland, blah, 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 would be like taking me to their castings and like babysitting me and shit. But it's just crazy, like being babysitted by like some of the hottest chicks alive. I was just like. Yeah, this is a couple therapists and a hand grenade <laughs> to work out, maybe. You can invite three people to dinner. Who would they be? Nelson Mandela, Kim Jong-un. Fucking Quentin Tarantino. Like, imagine that dinner. Like, what do you even talk about? 
Let's do word association. When I say Indian food, what comes to mind? Wolf. Wolf? Yeah. <laughs> Social media. It's something you grew up with, right? Like, how did you get started in that whole cultural icon? Um, it was all an accident, really. I just, I was just some, you know, downtown New York LES kid just fucking posting photos of my, like, fucking mediocre outfits, you know what I mean? Right. So how do you go from like Supreme having fun just posting some shit till like you get a little bit more momentum inside of it? Just being in Soho and shit I guess just like I started fucking with like Complex but I was cool with like the HBA guys, Supreme guys. What's really crazy is how little it was then and how impactful it is now like. Yeah that's curious to me is like all of a sudden guys like Virgil and Ye are running major, major houses. Major, major. Let's do some of this wood wall. Have you ever heard that bad habits will kill you, good habits won't save you? What do you think? No, but it's good. Y'all got hand sanitizer? Yeah. Don't smoke weed, you Nah, it's over. We smoke weed, sip of God. It comes from the ground, you know what I mean? You know, I don't give a fuck about my physical health, but my brain, you know, it's good. like, you know, I get... Hey yo. Hey yo. You know, on the internet, it's like a highlight reel of your life. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's weird. I've been growing up being documented. Yeah, so like? you know, people like, they're like, oh, this guy didn't earn shit, this guy didn't work for, it's like, bro, there's the amount of time I've spent working for nothing, like, for free. Like, a lot. Just like working for Kanye for free forever. Yeah. Just to like get that experience, just to like be around the, you know, around the right people at the right time. People just jump ahead, like you just yeah. woke up in some sort of, uh, Stature. Yeah. What the fuck, uh, what's up with these fucking rackets, man? I'm gonna show you right now. Alright, what's going on? Whoa! Okay, yo! Come on, where you from? Oh, oh, oh. that's a whack! I have two more balls, we're fine. How you doing? I heard y'all famous. Uh, maybe. Just lob it. Get the fuck out of here. So first of all, is this your first LA house? It's my first house, period. House, period. I've never lived in a house. Mostly hotels and... I'm living vertically. Mm -hmm. I've never lived horizontally. horizontally. Yeah. When did you first get interested in film? My uncle... He passed when I was like really young, like three or something. He was like an up-and-coming French actor, and he was really good friends with Vincent Cassel. I knew that my uncle passed, and I saw him on TV, and I was like, "But he's right here!" Wow. And then they explained the whole, you know, and then that's when I was just like, "Well, I want to do that," and that's like literally why I wanted to be an actor. To <laughs> leave it behind like, on some film. Just like I'm immortal. Your first films with Jim Jarmusch. That's interesting. Jim sent me the script but only with my part so I had no clue what the movie was about they're like do you want to be in this and I was like yeah and I walk onto set and it's like Adam Driver and Bill Murray and I was like yeah like what the fuck is going on that's what I wanted to say it's a monster cast what was like the lessons and stuff that you observed or learned yeah I didn't it was no like advice I just like watch Bill and Adam just do their thing. Mm -hmm. He's honestly one of the sickest people I've worked with. Like after every shot, he just asks you like, "How do you feel about it?" And you're, if you're like, "I like it," you'll be like, "All right, next shot." Wow. Like he trusts the actors. Yeah. You have to lay low and focus when you go into a film, or I just I don't need much time to prepare. Yeah. I just need a day of just like, I just need one day to think about what the fuck I'm about to do, and then the next day I just go. Do you ever get anxiety or like, I just don't want to do it today. I just don't want to be in front 100%. of the camera. But then I just do it, man. Sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. Sometimes I'll do like some like kind of whack shit. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do something sick right after. Mm -hmm. And you know, people's attention spans, I feel like are also so short nowadays. Like, Yeah, I feel like careers, like if it, you yeah. posted it at like three o'clock in the afternoon, it didn't happen. I feel like yeah. your generation. Or just like the next that. thing you post completely like People will forget about the last thing. You're only as relevant as your last post, kind of. Exactly, and that's that. And that's, that's about it. It's a wrap. I'd say that this episode's ending is really the beginning 
to all my jaded thoughts about saying that the good times are behind me or music was better or art was better. It takes a good friend and a laugh just to realize things are still happening. What's the most important thing you've learned? Keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. Turn on. Long legs. Turn off. I mean, that list goes on and on. What's tonight going to be? Good. But even when they're bad, they're good. It's still a story to tell, you know? I'd like to thank people like Lucas Abbott for making me smile, because, man. When there's no question, what would you ask? What do you want from me? <laughs> I've never laughed harder. I want to go into the same process when I pass. <laughs>